Hey guys, it's me, Mrs. Main, back for part two of Roman numerals. This week, here's what you have to do. First, take a really hard quiz on Roman numerals from one all the way to a thousand. Step two, translate some modern Roman numerals for me. Uh, they use modern Roman numerals to count the Super Bowls we're having. They use them um, for copyrights and for all sorts of crazy things. So take a look and translate those for me. It's a worksheet. And three, post a joke or meme about Roman numerals. Let me give you an example. A Roman walks into a bar, holds up two fingers and says, five sodas, please. Ah, ah. Get it? Because <laughs> V means five in Roman numerals. Good times, good times. Ah, plus I have a bonus for you, completely optional, but I have a Roman history mystery. You may or not may or may not know this, but this summer, because we were all so bored, I had a history mystery club. And if you helped investigate the history mystery, you got a cool little history mystery button, plus you learned something about history. I have a special math club history mystery, and it has to do with Rome's missing ninth legion. A legion is a group of soldiers and uh, around about 5,000 of them. And one of these legions, the uh, ninth Hispania Legion, just like whoo, disappeared. Now, I understand a pen or a hairbrush, but like, how do you misplace 5,000 Roman soldiers? Hmm? Hmm? But they're just like gone. So if you want to, you can investigate the history mystery with us this week. There's a separate history mystery video. There's a website you can do, go to. It's very, very cool. Plus, I will mail you a little Roman uh, history mystery button if you participate. Uh, with all of that being said, speedy quick, let me give you a couple of tips and tricks for translating large Roman numerals. So we have a really big Roman numeral here. Look for, first of all, the biggest number. That would be D, 500. So here's 500, right? Then we're going to add stuff to 500 because it comes before. The next thing you need to look for are any uh, Roman numerals that are smaller. So like this is 100 and this is 100. But then this X comes before this C. That's a chunk there. That's a subtraction chunk, if that makes sense. Here's another one. The one comes before the X. So this is uh, 10 minus 1. This is 9. And this is 100 minus 10, that's 90. So if we add all this up, we get 500 plus 200, that's 799. Uh, that's how to do the big ones. Always start, again, by looking for the biggest number. If there are littler numbers back here, then you'll have some subtraction problems. Good luck.